Hello everyone, welcome to Dorothy Chia Piano, where I talk about all things piano teaching and piano learning. Today we're going to talk about the thumb. Right, um, today we're going to focus on the action of the thumb, especially in relation to learning skills. <clears throat> and we're going to look at the correct movement and the wrong movement. So let's begin. All right, when you look at our thumb, um, a lot of times, I'm going to show it this way, okay. When we play the thumb, it's important that it is this joint, okay. So we have the, it's like a big drumstick here. It is this movement here that actually controls the movement of the thumb, all right. So we have the first joint, and this one I watched um, another video and they were cross-referencing that this joint yeah, is similar to this joint and this joint is actually here. And where is actually these joints, the knuckles here? Well, it turns out actually it is not here, it's actually here. And true enough, when I look at a photo of, um, and I googled for the anatomy of the hand, you can see that this part here is actually where we move our thumb. And a lot of students are very confused about moving the thumb because they rely on actually flopping the, the whole hand onto the keys. So it's not unusual, okay, I'm going to show it here with my left hand, that when the student play, they are plopping the whole arm into the keys, all right? But actually, we should actually feel this part of our hand and wiggle our thumb from there. All right? A common problem is some students are double jointed. So this part of their thumb is collapsed, okay? So it looks from underneath, it looks like that. And so they find it very hard to play. And so they end up flopping the weight of the whole hand into the keys instead of just keeping that arch and manipulating this part of the hand to move the thumb downwards. So which part of the finger is actually in contact with the key? I like to ask students to think of your thumb. Okay, wait, let me see. All right, your thumb as like a square. So the corner of the thumb, this part, all right? So if the other finger, it'll be at this corner, all right? This corner is the part that is in contact with the surface of the keys, all right? So it's slightly tilted downwards. Okay, it's not really flat in a straight line or pointed outwards, but rather, I feel like I'm making a letter C and there's a certain grip in the fingers, okay? And when I play, I'm not flopping the weight from the arm, but rather holding the shape and moving the thumb using this joint, all right? Because there's a big fat muscle here that I can use, think of that drumstick. Which brings me to the second part, when we play a scale. I'm going to do a descending scale. Let's see if I can bring my camera closer. When you play a scale, it's important that there are two things that happen. When you're going um, uh, the direction away from your thumb, you actually have to bring the thumb under, okay? I like to ask the student to think of this as a tunnel. Build a tunnel and pass the thumb into the tunnel. So by this time, they are already right above the key that they need. And then instead of, remember, not flopping the whole weight down, point the thumb down. And as they do that, open up the weight of the hand to play the rest of the fingers. Okay, what about the upward direction when I'm going towards the direction of the thumb? Make a roof with your fingers 
and at this point pass up pass the third finger over the thumb all right so if i show you underneath this way so when the thumb is going in it moves in this way all right and when you're going in the direction of the thumb the rest of the fingers go over the thumb right so when you play up to here pass the rest of the fingers over the thumb and continue upwards to finish the skip For teachers of beginner students, you might find that my course, Teaching Little Fingers to Play, in my Podio website, helpful when you help students to establish good playing technique. Do take a look after this video. So till the next week, bye-bye.